Hello and welcome back to Football Manager 2018 with NK Maribor. Today we've got the final two Champions League group games and we should, not 100% guaranteed, but we should be qualifying for the Europa League or the Champions League knockout rounds regardless of results. Basically, if Krasnodar get no points against Liverpool and Lyon, then we will go through in third place and we should get Europa League football. I am still slightly concerned that we might not get into the Europa League even if we finish third. I don't know whether it's like a certain amount of best place, like a top point scoring third place teams, or whether it's it's everyone who finishes third goes into the knockout rounds. But the top two teams do qualify for the first knockout round. But I don't know who qualifies for the Europa League. I'm hoping it's us. In between matches and in between episodes, we've played just three games, and it was three victories as expected. Maribor versus Gorishka was the first one. It was a 3-1 victory. La Foster, Tyne, Kavic, and or Kav Kavcic, sorry, and Luka Zahovic with the goals for us. Dejan Zigon with the only goal for Gorishka. 3-1, three points, still top of the table. In the Slovenian Cup quarterfinal second leg against our feeder club of sorts, Fusinar, it was a 5-1 victory, 8-2 on aggregate. Luka Zahovic, Dante Robles gets two goals, Leo Bonatini and Tillan Klemenic with the goals for us. Mitya Krizan with a goal for Fusinar. We are through to the semi-final. I can't remember who we're playing, I can never remember these things. And then finally a 3-0 victory against Illumini, Luka Zahovic with two goals, Alex Pila also with a goal. The table looks a bit like this. It doesn't look a bit like this, it does look like this. We are 16 games in, 15 wins, 1 draw, 0 defeats, a goal difference of positive 43 and 46 points in the bag. We have pretty much won the league already. We play hosts to England's own Liverpool at Lejewski Vert. Before the match, Jurgen Klopp did his whole media thing and he said that uh, Maribor will be an easy opponent and he'll be right. The starting lineup we are going to go for in goal be Juraj Kuzma because I promised him first team football and we are basically through, we're not through, but these next two matches don't really mean a huge amount as long as we don't get battered and Krasnodar don't win their games, basically. We should be going through in third place. So Kuzma will be in goal, Dante Robles will be it's as part of the back three with Daniel Rosero and Enzo Leon. Tillen Klemenic and Peter Kovac will be the two fullbacks. Klemenic has come in for Hodzic, who has broken his leg Blaz Vohovic and Alex Pilar will be in the centre of the pitch. Marge comes in for the suspended Kuja Chol. La Foster and Leo Bonatini will be our true strikers today. Leo Bonatini, by the way, he's uh, he's now decided to be Italian as opposed to Brazilian. So it means him and Rodrigo are no longer the Brazilian-Italian partnership. They're a natural Brazilian and an actual Italian now. They could swap back. I don't know. Meanwhile, over in Russia, whilst our game is going on, Krasnodar will be hosting Leon. All we need there is a Leon victory. If Krasnodar actually win one of their final two games, we could be in some serious trouble. I also haven't worked out whether the uh, Champions League knockout rounds is a possibility. I think it might be, but it will involve us having to beat Liverpool and Leon, and then we might get third place. We've won one game in however many Champions League matches, so I'm not really going to be counting my uh, counting my chances really in that eight and a half minutes Bonatini crosses in Klemenic is there it's cleared Adam Lalana gets the ball so I was hoping this was going to be an attack for us it doesn't look like it's going to be Luan Naby Keita in the middle by the referee runs forward gets past his man plays it all the way across to Gaia Jose Gaia crosses in hits Robles and the effort from Forsberg is over the bar Kuzma is going to be taking the goal kick so something is coming from this as well Kovac Forward, finds Leo Bonatini, hopefully, takes a couple of touches. He's got three in the box, crosses in, Marge is there. We're 1-0 up against Liverpool in the Champions League. Marge, the substitute, or not the substitute, the, the second choice attacking midfielder, has scored, I think, his first ever goal for the club. We're 1-0 up in the Champions League again. Or maybe it could be 2-0. Foster gets the ball, runs forward. He's only got Bonatini in the area. He's going it alone. Oh, my word, Lyle Foster probably should have scored there. So with this, if this stays this way, we're going to be on seven points. We are actually going to be on seven points in the Champions League group stage, which could be enough to get us through. 33 minutes, Hugo Mala with a throw. Kovac gets there first. Lyle Foster runs over the halfway line. He's got Bonatini to his left, plays it back. Klemenic, what a ball for Bonatini. And Bonatini drags his effort inches wide of the post. We should be 2-0 up here. One minute to play until half time. Leon with the ball forward to Peter Kovac. Kovac tries to get round his man, plays it inside to Alex Pila instead. 
Pila forward, can't find anyone. It wasn't a great pass. Rosero's head only finds Mo Salah. Runs forward, plays it across. Emil Forsberg on the left-hand side. Rosero cuts out the through ball. Where are we going to go? Just lump it upfield. Pay attention. Keita now with the ball for Liverpool. Wijnaldum forward to Luan. Bit of space. Has a go. Puts it into the top corner. And we were awful defending there. Rosero passed it to a player who wasn't actually looking for the ball. And Liverpool have equalised. Half time, it is 1 1. Daniel Rosero is going to be getting a bollock in. Everyone else is actually doing all right. But Rosero, you look delighted. Of course, you look delighted because you actually, right, like you've switched off. You've switched off. I'm going to hand over to assistant. You're getting subbed as well now. Right, Nathan is going to come on for Rosero. That is your punishment for potentially costing us about one and a half million pounds. 55 minutes in. Pila's corner is there. Leon's had an effort. It is saved by Ruli. First effort of the second half goes to us. Kuzma with a free kick finds Dante Robles. Forward to Klemenic. Klemenic, who arguably should get blamed for their goal as well. Vorhovic back to Robles. Long ball forward finds Leo Bonatini. He's 1-1 with the keeper. Leo, mother-flipping Bonatini, has scored once again. It is 2-1 to Maribor. We have got, what is that, 40 minutes, 35 minutes left to play of the second half. Can we hold up? Probably not. I'd like to. Liverpool have just brought off Salah, brought on Sadio Mane. Nathan heads clear. Mane gets the ball. First couple of touches for Sadio Mane and he hits it over the bar. Hugo Mallow with a throw on. Mane once again. Luan across. Finds Adam Lallana. Mane gets it. Back to Keita. Keita has a few touches and he hits it over the bar. Time is disappearing. I think I should probably try and do a time-wasting sub soon. First, we've got a corner. Pila takes it. Vohovic is there. It is over the bar. It is going to be a goal kick. Now it is time for substitutions. We have got just under 20 minutes to play. Vohovic is coming off for Clayton Augusto. I think that is it. Everyone's playing well. We are actually doing really well for once in a Champions League game against a good team. Kuzma with the goal kick finds Dante Robles. Robles runs forward. He's already got one assist to his name. Klemenic. Bonatini. Bonatini to Marge. Marge has got Foster on the inside. Foster, plenty of space. Takes a touch. Has a go. Lyle Foster has made it 3-1 against Liverpool. We are going to pick up seven points in this Champions League group stage now if it stays this way. And we've still got a game to play. Why do we not perform like this every single week in the Champions League? Why do we not do this? Why has it taken so long? It's taken three years to be able to pull this performance out. Hugo Mallow with the ball forward to Thomas Delaney. Luan doesn't get tackled. Delaney gets the ball back across to Forsberg. Terrible pass. Klemenic gets it. Bonatini. Foster's making a run. He tries to find Foster. And what a ball that is. It has to be four. It's not four. Ruli makes the save. We've got 12 minutes to play. We have a corner. We are two goals up. It is 3-1. Corner comes in. It's cleared. Marge, the youngster, gets the ball. Plays it into Nathan. Nathan. Bonatini gets tackled by Matip. What a tackle that was. And Liverpool are now going to clear their lines. Five minutes left to play. Kovac is going to come off for Dino Hotic because he's the most tired on the pitch. That's a bit of a time-wasting substitution as well, but I think we might have this one sorted. Nathan's picked up a knock. He's bruised his head. Doesn't matter. We've got two and a half minutes to play. Marge gets the ball. Back to Hotic. Long ball to find Foster. Does find Foster. He's got no one in there at the moment. Doesn't matter. He gets around everyone anyway. Bonatini is there, and we've beaten Liverpool 4-1 in the Champions League. I'm genuinely not as happy about beating Liverpool as I was about beating Krasnodar, but where the hell has this performance come from? Lyle Foster making the goal there. Bonatini rushes in, heads it into the back of the net. 4-1. I think we might have even turned our goal difference around. Three minutes of injury time to play, so we've got a proper highlight. Marge to Foster, Foster to Bonatini. Is it going to be five? It should have been five. They've managed to clear their lines. Guy is going to get the ball. We should have been 5-1. We should have actually scored about 7 in this game. We've got a minute and 10 to play. Forsberg, Lalana plays it all the way across to Sadio Mane. Mane runs down the right-hand side. It's full time. It is over. It is complete. We have won 4-1 against Liverpool. Where did that performance come from? So we pick up £1.33 million for beating Liverpool. Interestingly, in the Champions League... Oh my word... I kind of want Krasnodar to win now. If Krasnodar win, we go to Lyon at a chance of possibly qualifying through the group stages to the first knockout round. Right, Krasnodar and Lyon have played their game. It's a 2-0 victory to Lyon. Doesn't mean that we are out of the running for an automatic qualification place. We have a minus one goal difference. They have three in the positive. A 2-0 victory for us 
will put us on one. It will put them on one goal difference. We'll both be on three points. I don't know what happens when we're both on three points. How does that work? It doesn't really matter anyway. I'm I'm not really optimistic about this. We did beat Liverpool 4-1, but I don't think we're going to do it against Lyon. I just don't because we're away as well. Anyway, we're going to go forward until after the matches in between the uh, Liverpool and the Lyon games, and I'll be back with you shortly. Welcome back. We've played three more games in the league. We've scored eight goals and we've conceded zero. So you can guess that we won all three of them. First up against Olympia. 3-0. Lyle Foster with two goals. Leo Bonatini with a goal in the 92nd minute. That's the first victory. Next up away against Ruda Valenia. It was a 2-0 victory here. Bonatini and Zahovic with the goals. And finally against Domzele, it was a 3-0 victory. Bonatini, Marge and Lyle Foster getting the goals. So nine points, still top of the table. By a country mile, I think is the correct terminology. What is that? 24 points clear of second place and we've got a game in hand? We could win the league just after Christmas. We might even be able to win the league before Christmas. Anyway, before we can win the league, we have to play Leon in the Champions League. Now, when the fixtures came out, I was not expecting by the time we played Leon in the final game that we will actually have something to play for. Champions League knockout football could be on the cards if we win 3-0. I know it's quite a tall order, but if we win 3-0, we will be in the Champions League knockout rounds. If we win 2-0, I think there might be a coin flip. The starting lineup that we are going to go for, Kuzma in goal, Robles, Mapoto and Leon will be the back three today, Farkas and Peter Kovac will be the two fullbacks, Pila and Vorhovic in the middle, Marge will be keeping his place just behind Leo Bonatini and Lyle Foster, Kujachol is back from his suspension but he's going to be on the bench, Nathan I was tempted to play but I do really like um, Sifhamandala Mpoto, he's very good at football, he doesn't really get the opportunity so... Let's give him a game in the Champions League. Nathan is on the bench, if just in case we need to bring him on because someone's playing terribly. Last time we played Leon, I think we got battered. I think it was 3-1. So we did score, but we still lost. I'm hoping it is a different story. I expect we're not going to win. All we need to do, though, is hope that... I was going to say, we, don't... we are in the Europa League. Before we've even kicked a ball today, we're in the Europa League. We could be in the Champions League. We we need to try and win this game. Let's win this game 3-0 and get in the Champions League knockout rounds. And then let's draw Juventus and get absolutely spanked. Five minutes on the clock. Robles, long, long ball upfield. Tries to find one of our players but doesn't manage to do it. Kenny Tete on the right-hand side for Leon. Runs forward over the halfway line. Inside to Corne. Our... I have no idea how that's if that's pronounced right. And Poto gets it clear, but it's going to come back towards us. Toussaint. Toussaint out to Memphis the Pie. Plays the ball across to Tete. Inside, Cornet. Toussaint, edge of the area, has a go, volleys it into the top corner. What a finish that was. We're 1-0 down. We now need to win 4-1 if we're going to be getting through to the uh, next round of the Champions League. I don't think it's going to happen. Tete with a throw on. Back to Tete. I was going to say back to the defender, but Tete gets it back. Corne gets tackled. Marge now with the ball. Marge gets tackled by Corne. Forward. Aor. Sebastian Haller in the area. Haller has made it 2-0. We are 21 minutes in. We are 2-0 down. So Leon are looking like they're going to secure their place in the knockout round, but the Europa League knockout stages should be there for her. If they're not there, I'm going to be so angry. 24 and a half minutes, Pila to Kovac, forward, finds the youngster Marge, across, Lyle Foster, takes a touch, has a go, tipped onto the post by Lopez, cleared, but Kovac gets the ball back, we've got five in the box, but he gets tackled, Awa now runs forward for Leon, down the right hand side, Kovac is nowhere to be found, number 20 is running across to try and ch chase him down, Haller's in there, but Kuzma plucks the ball out of the air. Liverpool are beating Krasnodar. Not that it makes any difference at all now. Marge's free kick, it's in. Isamak can clear it. Alex Pilo's going to hopefully get there first, and he does. Pilo plays it back, into, kicks it into Farkas. We've gone from a corner to nearly giving it back to our goalkeeper. Kovac, ball forward, tries to find Bonatini, doesn't manage to do it. Diakabi heads forward. Aua runs it across, plays it to the left-hand side for Memphis Depay, number seven. Sebastian Haller. Back to Maxwell or Maxime Cornet. Tete. Kenny Tete on the right. Crosses in. Haller's there. He's hit the bar. Flapped at it by the keeper and we've managed to scuff it clear. Bonatini gets the ball. Is this the end of the highlight though? Bonatini gets tackled by Diacabi. It is the end of the highlight. 
At half-time, we are 2-0 down. Liverpool are 3-0 up against Krasnodar. And uh, Mario Mandzukic scored a hat-trick. I don't think he played against us in the last leg. I'm going to be angry. I'm not happy with your performance, even though it makes no difference at all. Who's on a 6.1? Peter Kovac. Peter, Peter, Peter. I have no left-backs on the bench. Well, looks like you're going to be playing 90 minutes. You better pull your finger out. There are some days when I put Dino Hotic on the bench and then others when I don't. This was one of those days where he's not on the bench. Liverpool are 4-0 up now. Just before the hour mark, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a red card, isn't it? It's going to be a red card. Who was it who got sent off? It is Blas Vohovic. Right, Marge is going to have to drop back. No, we, right. You know what? I haven't played this formation at all, as far as I'm aware. Um, right, Poto's going to drop into the middle there. We're going to go one up top. Just give me, give me a minute. Right, so that's what we're going to go for. We're going to a 4-4-2, but we've only got 10 men, so it's a 4-4-1. Kovac, Leon, Robles and Farkas will be the back four. Pila and Clayton Augusto will be in the two two central midfielders. Bonatini's moved out to the left-hand side. Kuja Chol has come on on the right-hand side. And Lyle Foster is going to be that lone striker. I imagine this isn't going to work. Farkas with the throw on. Kuja Chol into Clayton Augusto. Finds Bonatini. Bonatini has a go. Smashes it over the bar. Liverpool are 5-0 up now against Krasnodar, and I think Mandzukic might have scored all five. Marsal to Memphis Depay on the halfway line, runs forward, plenty of space, finds Corne on the left hand, on the right hand side, sorry, plays it, what was that, was that a shot? That was actually a shot, it nearly went off for a throw on, it is 6-0 to Liverpool now. Final sub of the game, we're going to bring on Luka Zahovic on the left hand side for Leo Bonatini, he can't play there, but tough. Corner for Leon. It's been cleared by Farkas. Only back to the corner taker though. Corne has a go once again. Terrible effort. He's had a couple of them now. 15 seconds left of injury time. Liverpool have won 7-0 against Krasnodar. I don't... Well, there's still time to play. It could be 8. Clayton Augusto with a ball for us. We've got a couple of seconds left. So, we have lost 2-0 in France. But luckily for us, we won 4-1 at home against Liverpool. We should be in the Europa League. Let's find out if we've managed to qualify for the knockout stages. So Liverpool end up winning 7-0 in the end. We do finish third in the group. Maribor have failed to qualify from Group A in the Champions Cup. Right. Does that mean we're out completely? If we're out completely, I'm not going to be happy. I don't know. How does it work? No one else has queues. Okay, maybe we need to wait for the next round of fixtures to be played. And then maybe we find out if we're in the Europa League. Right, we'll go forward a day or two. And then we will see the 16th of December is the draw for the Europa League. So that's a big day in the calendar. All the games have been played. Now, no one has like a little marker next to their name, the teams that have finished third. Oh, Jesus, really? Shakhtar went through in a group with Juventus in. How did that happen? There are some... AC Milan finished bottom of their group. Tottenham finished bottom. We are officially better than Tottenham. AC Milan, PAOK, PSV, CSKA Moscow, Club Bruges... Copenhagen and Krasnodar. We are officially part of Europe's elite, probably. I'm going to go forward to the 16th of December because that is the draw day. We're going to have one match in the middle. I'll show you the result of that as well. But um, I think we're in the Europa League. I think we are. We've played our match. It's a 4-0 victory. Four goals scored, zero conceded, three points in the bag. Enzo Leon, Leo Bonatini, Leo Foster and Blas Vohovic with the goals. We are top of the table still, um, 58 points, I think. Yep, 58 points. Nobody is going to catch us. The day is here and the Europa League knockout round is here. The draw. Right, okay. There's no seeds, no nothing. I mean, there's some good teams in there. There's some not so great teams like Aspal, Rapidveen, Rosenberg. We can beat those. Red Star, we can probably beat those. I want to avoid, obviously, the bigger ones. The Juventus, Porto's not a good one. Everton, we can beat Liverpool, so we can probably beat Everton. Cagliari's not a bad one. Brighton, how have they got through? Basel, AS Monaco, don't want to go near that. Ajax, Arsenal, okay, there's some big teams. Right, Rapid Veen, I'll take it. I'll have Rapid Veen. No, okay, Everton, Porto, Spartak Moscow get Real San Sebastian. Olympiakos versus Brighton. Anderlecht, I don't want that one. Zenit. Feyenoord, I don't want that one either, is Arsenal, Cagliari, I'll take Cagliari, it's not Cagliari, Spal, I'll take it, damn, Villarreal, AK, Monaco, Rosenberg gets Sparta, Prague, Frankfurt will have FC Nantes, Red Star, Basel, oh, it's going to be this, isn't it, it's going to be this, 
Of course it was that. I literally said that during the game. And then let's draw a Juventus and get absolutely spanked. It's certainly a money spinning tie. If we can get through that, that's going to be absolutely insane. I don't know why I'm going to do it. Let's have a look at some of their best players, shall we? Yeah, he's all right, isn't he? I've, uh, he's not. He's not amazing anymore. He's he's ridiculous. He's actually insane. He's 34. By the time we play him, he might even be 35. But still, he's so good. Uh, okay, right. Before we go anywhere, I'm going to make sure I save it because we don't want to happen what happened last time. So then, our next episode is. There's not going to be a lot of games. Because we do have a winter break. So we've got two more games until the uh, winter break. Then we have about a month and a half off. And then we get gently eased back in to a game against Juventus. I mean, really? Is that... I'm not looking forward to it. I'm really not looking forward to it. But it's a, it is certainly a money-spinning tie. Well... Thank you very much for watching this episode of Football Manager 2018 with NK Maribor. Next up is Juventus. We've got a transfer window in the middle, but we don't have any money really to spend in it. Um, it's going to be a fun one next episode. <laughs>